Hey guys, welcome. This is our uh, algebra review video. Um, we're using this worksheet, so my recommendation is for you to do it first, um, and then uh, for you to watch with me to see how to do this. Okay, so write a algebraic expression for each phrase. Seven more than the product of eight and a number. Okay, when you see more than, it means we're going to put it afterwards. So the word more means plus product means multiplication. So we're going to say the product of 8 and a number. So it doesn't matter what the number is. We're going to do 8 um, multiplied by, let's do n. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. And it says 7 more than. So instead of putting it in the front, we're going to put it afterwards just like that. Okay? B, it says the quotient of a number and 2 decreased by 6. So the quotient of a number, that's going to mean division and decrease is subtraction. So we're going to do the quotient of a number in, doesn't matter, divided by 2, decreased by 6. And there we go. Number 2, write a phrase. So this one we could do, uh, similar to this right here, we could do uh, the product of 2 and p minus, let's use the word minus, uh, three. Okay, and here we can do four times the. We have to do a sum here because it comes first. The sum of x and six. Okay. All right. Here we're going to plug in. So it's thirty-six divided by negative three. So 36 goes in, or sorry, 3 goes in the 36 12 times. We have a positive and negative, so it's going to be a negative 12. Down here, we're going to plug in. Whenever we plug in, we're going to use parentheses, especially since this 3 is negative. And we're going to see two negatives make a positive. And over here, 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6. And 7 and 3 is 10. So 10 plus a negative 6, so this is going to give me a positive, a negative. So we're going to get smaller, this will be 4, and it's a positive 4. <clears throat> okay. Over here we're going to plug in A, so we get 2, negative 3, all this is squared, plus A, sorry, which is negative 3, I don't know why I put A, negative 3, to the third power. Okay, and this is in parentheses. So 2 times negative 3 is going to give me negative 6. Negative 6 squared. Notice the negatives in the parentheses. This is going to become 36 positive. Plus, negative is in there, so we're going to have to write this out 3 times. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So that's going to be 9 times negative 3. So I'm doing a positive times a negative, it's going to be a negative 27, okay? Add those together, we have a positive and a negative, so we're going to get smaller, and they should be a positive 9 units apart. Number 5, describe the process of adding two numbers with different signs, okay? So we had two numbers with different signs, uh, we take the difference and keep the sign of the bigger number. Okay. Describe the difference between squaring a negative number in parentheses versus squaring a number not in parentheses. So if we get negative 2 squared versus negative 2 squared with parentheses, this would become negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4, versus, this is negative 2, we carry the negative through, and we get a positive 4. So this one's always negative no matter what, and this one depends upon how many we multiply. We can actually see up over here, we had the parentheses with the negative on this side, and we had negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, then times the negative 3 got negative 27, over here, the negative was on the inside of a squared and came out positive. So when it's included in the parentheses, it really depends upon um, how many you're multiplying, what your exponent is. Okay. 
All right, last one. Put the following real numbers on the number line below. Negative 6 sevenths is not quite 1, but it's very close, so we're going to put it right about there. 21 and over 7. So 7 fits into 21 three times, so I'm going to go up to 3, and we'll put 21 and 7. Negative 20 plus 2 is a negative 18 over 10. And 10 fits into that once with a remainder of 8, so it's a little over 1, almost 2. So we're going to go right about here. It's negative. It's getting very close to negative 2. And we're going to put that as negative 20 plus 2 over 10. Negative 0.325 is very close to 0. So I'm going to say it's right about there. And 3 squared is going to be 9. 11 minus 2 is 9. Oh, wait, did I make a mistake? 3 squared is not 9. It is going to be 3 times 3 times 3, which would be 27 over 9. And 9 goes into that 3 times. So we actually get the same value right there for that one. Okay? All right, so we got to be very careful with our order of operations, using exponents, adding, multiplying, subtracting, dividing, and all that good stuff. All right, peace, you guys. Hopefully you did well.